The saint's legacy dies here, not with a bang, but a whimper. Kill bang. Saints roll the third. Well, he's not technically wrong. The Saints series is might as well be dead again, only this time for sure. Howdy, everyone. This is Sean007-1986. I hope you have a wonderful yet fantastic Sunday evening. Well, I can't... Well, I feel sorry for the Embracer group. I mean, I should, but I'm not. But they should have seen this coming. They should have seen the writing on a beautiful wall. Everyone saw this coming. Everyone with working brain who's not bought up with, who's not sucking the cock of volition and deep silver. But, well, it happened. It happened. And people are now shocked about it. As you may know, Saints Row came out last year in August. And let's just say that nobody was fucking this game and not and i and by nobody i mean no not one real saints row fan bought on it the people who actually bought it were ones who think oh this might be a new turn for saints again i'm not shitting on the people who bought and enjoyed the game i'm just stating the previous obvious however and this is the point that i like to make is that if you got the game and you're enjoying it, more power to you. But it's just that I just find it a bit funny. Uh -uh. Oh, snap, we got it. Oh, I'm watching the XFL. Did we get it? And ref says we didn't get it. Ref says we... Yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah we got it. Sorry. But, uh, yeah. Now, I did make a video talking about it, and I called people who try to defend this game. And I liked how people got a little mad at little old me for saying that, oh, I just want to see this game fail. Which I didn't. I was one of those people who didn't want to see this game fail. I'm just saying that this game was going to fail. I wanted it to win. Well, the chickens come home to roost because... It, it could, because in case you haven't know, my dear loyal subs, <laughs> the Saints Row reboot, or Saints Row 2022, as it should be named, has caused the, has caused Embracer, you know, the guys who, has caused the Embracer group, who is the parent company of Volition and Deep Silver, one hundred million dollars. So much so that Embracer is thinking about, well, killing off the series. I'm reading this from techforgamers.com. <clears throat> Embracer lost big on Saints Row, which cost one hundred million dollars. Saints Row led to big losses. Saints Row was released last year in August after a long hiatus for a long-running franchise. The new entry ser served as a reboot to the franchise for the franchise, but kept a similar over-the-top style that was seen in past games. Volition's first reboot was released to a mediocre reception, and many were not fond with the franchise's new directions. However, early sales sales reports for the game appeared to be encouraging, but Embracer just has just revealed the Saints Row led to huge losses for the company. Big losses for the Embracer Group's impacts PC and console segment due to the high de depreci depreciation associated with underperforming releases earlier in the year, particularly Saints Row, which cost more than $100 million. 
Saints Row was given a budget over $100 million, but this did not lead to much profit for Embracer. Following the disappointment re disappointed release, developer Valisa was, was also integrated into Gearbox software. This could mean that the fans of the franchise might have to wait a few years for a new title in the Saints Row universe. Embracer has clarified that the company is taking a different approach to projects moving forward. Each new project has earned its right to exist, which should lead to more quality release for the best possible experiences. With the growing cost of game development, it makes sense for Embracer to ensure that every new release is possible to the extent for major game publishers. Embracer has also announced that developer Crystal Dynamics and Idols Montreal are aiming to release five AAA games in the next five years. Looking at the busy release schedule, the company may not be able to give much attention to, Sage, to the Sage World franchise in the upcoming in the upcoming years. Might as well just you know at this point, my Embracer crew got two options: either A, give the Sage World IP to a developer who can give the fans what they want. Or B, just cut your loss. Or B, cut your losses. It's just in the series. And knowing them, they'll probably might just cut their losses and end the series. Like think of, I mean seriously. All this, if what, like I said, all this could have been, all this could have voted, could be, could have voted. All this could have been fucking avoided if the developers of the Saints Row of Evolution and Deep Silver. Didn't didn't call, call out the didn't throw the fans of the original Saints Row under the bus. Didn't try to shit on them, saying oh, call, say oh we're not backing down, and say that oh that go oh we don't want to do oh. That, let's just let's let's be real. Let's be one hundred percent real on this one. This whole shit, this whole shit that happened. Is what is what um is what both Volition and Deep Silver deserves. Cause think about it, for months, for for months and for years, Saints Row fans, real Saints Row fans, has been begging, has been demanding a new Saints Row game. You know that helps bring back, that helps take the Saints back to their gangster roots. And every and no surprise, every time when he put every time when Deep Silver and Deep Silver listen, they decided to do the complete opposite and give people bullshit that no one likes or no one wanted. Seriously, they made Gat out of hell, which I own. I got it during this flash, so and people didn't like it because well. Even though, despite the fact that he got Johnny Gat, which is a fan favorite, which is a 100% fan favorite, it doesn't feel like an actual Shades Row game. They made Agents of Mayhem, which is supposed to be like a comic book, which is supposed to be like a Shades Row like comic, book, like a, be like a Saturday morning GI Joe type set in a Shades Row series. But then what they like, nobody wanted that, and he, it was like. And I know everyone's like, did you get that, Sean? I'm like, yes, I actually got the the Saints Row 4 big total package edition. Got that during the flash sale. Four ninety nine. And then when they dropped Saints Row 2022, everyone hated it. And no surprise, the moment the game came out. Everyone was saying that this game was terrible, and instead of and the developers, is instead of and the developers and the community manager De Deadly Steph, instead of trying to calm down people and everything, they decided to just make mock them and mock them and say haters gonna hate and everything. Hell, you got Discord and Reddit users who are actually going on there trying to defend this game by saying fuck the people. Who like fuck anyone who loves Saints Row One and Two, and I was like, "Oh, you? Oh, we're gonna play that game, huh? We're gonna play that game, yeah." 
Now, the thing was, they said that they wanted to, they said they wanted to um, push the game back, push Saints Row game back to from February, which was last year, which was this month last year, to August to polish it out. But let's be real, they pushed that game back because they didn't want the game to face stiffer competition from other games. No snowy Elder Ring. And lo and behold, it did came out, and oh my god, the bugs and glitches were massive. To which to the point, I'm actually happy I didn't pre-order this shit, this fucking game. Game. And besides, the, four, the only game I did pre-order was Sonic, was Sonic Origins. Was it perfect? No. But I had fun. Yes, I didn't get fucked. But. But. But, but, it's never, it's not enough. It's really, really not enough. It's really not enough. Because, because you had the community manager who's actually calling out, who's going after people and everything. And it was so fucking crazy. I think the favorite, I think my favorite part about the whole situation is how Deadly Seth is calling um, people who are calling uh, critics who, who don't like the game as terrorists. And I was like, wow, you really burned this. You wow, you really burned this, man. You're really burning the f burning this. Which they are. So, no surprise, when the game when they basically found out that it was not profitable, the has been has been now became the bottom bitch of Gearbox. You know, the guys you know, Gearbox Software, the guys who did the um The Borderlands series, yeah, and yes, I got the Borderlands series, Borderlands 1, uh, Borderlands Game of the Year edition, Borderlands The Handsome Collection, and Borderlands 3, and Tiny Tina and the and Assault on Dragon Keep a Wonderlands one shot. And now, and now we see that Abracer has lost one hundred million dollars on on this on this. <laughs> well, I'm not even upset. I would be, but I'm not. I'm just laughing, and I just want to say one thing and one thing only. To embrace to listen. This is what this is what the fuck happens when you don't listen to your fans. This is this shit is what happens when you when you turn your back on your fans. This is what happens when you listen to a small vocal minority who don't even fuck with you or your fucking product from the get go. And now you got what you fucking deserve. Seriously. You may get out of hell. And look what happened. You made Agents of Mayhem. And look what happened. And now, you made the biggest bomb of 2022, Saints Row 2022. And look what happened. You turn your back on your fan on the fans. And now the fans turn your back on, turn their back on you. And now look, and now look where you are. I have to say, I hope acting, I hope acting like an idiot online was really worth it. And if I'm Embracer, I'm only saying this: either give the, or either give. The Saints Row IP to a developer who can give the people what they want or just end the franchise. Don't. And also to, and also, and this is a message to idiots who try to, and also, this is a message to people who try to reboot something and try to change up everything, not stay in school. And this is a message to anybody who try, anybody trying to reboot shit. If you're gonna reboot a classic movie, TV show, comic book, cartoon, anime, 
or video game, you better, I repeat, better respect the source material and don't change shit. All right? Because if you're going to reboot something, you if you're going to reboot something, you're going to act like you have to give a fuck. Or else, your product will be just like Saints Row 2022. But that's all my, I have to say about this one. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss an update, share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with significant others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Sean007-1986 signing off. Thank you for watching this video. It really means a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Catch you later.